Stella Emanuel couldn't possibly be telling the truth because she's ugly and her hair is nappy. I literally heard that. See, we go on the attack. And then what bothered me about that particular assault is we attacked her for her blackness. That tells us just how far we've fallen and how much we've been consumed within the philosophies and concepts of their social ideology, a Eurocentric idea of what is. It is so important to examine and embrace an Afrocentric idea if we're ever is expected to truly operate in our complete power. We will never be fully powerful operating from a Eurocentric perspective because we're not Europeans. We have to see things through an Afrocentric uh, paradigm in order to examine and experience the full force of who we are naturally. And they understand that. That's why we were robbed of our names, our culture, our history, our God, and so many other things early on in the process because that took away our identity. We're struggling from an identity crisis that allows us to be manipulated, be mishandled, be misdirected, miseducated, and it puts us in an in a situation in which it's so easily to mishandle us. We have got to get out of our feelings. We've got to get out of our emotions. We've got to examine the truth. And we've got to be willing to admit that there are probably some things we've been wrong about. Some things we've been wrong about for a long time. Some things that mama just was wrong about. We've got to get to that point. If we don't get to that point, things are going to actually get worse before they get better. The thing is, we can literally make a difference by guarding our babies 
from experiencing this entire false reality that robs them of their sense of self. That's going to be on us. How well we do that is going to actually have a massive impact on how successful we are in empowering ourselves. Look, I absolutely love my people. I am a black man before I'm anything else. Uh, none of my other accomplishments can come close to my blackness and being a black man and the drive I have to fulfill my responsibilities as a black man. And so when I see that, I see the need to rise up and be everything that I can be and to touch lives and to change lives and to come up with solutions and be a part of the, uh, of the solving of the problem rather than being a contributor to the problem itself. I'm challenging every last one of y'all to do exactly what I'm doing and that's living life on full so that you don't die on it, so that you leave a legacy that your children and your people can look at and say, hey, look, he's, he came, she came, they saw, they conquered. They didn't accept the reality as their lot in life. They endeavored to change it, and through their endeavor, I have a better place in this world. That's what those who follow us should be able to say about us. And if they can't say that, we've got a problem. So I'm challenging you. Let's get on board. Before I get off, don't forget, go to the description box, look at the first paragraph, and support the work we're doing at the Odyssey Project. On that note, I'm getting out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group. I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.